Good morning everyone. Today we are going to learn about a poem a revocation by Thomas Bjorn. Thomas Bjorn was born in 1503 uh, at United Kingdom and died in 11th October 1542. Uh, 1542. Uh, this poem, um, a revocation, uh, speaks about the uh, relationship between Thomas Bjorn and his wife uh, Elizabeth Brooke. Thomas Bjorn is a lyrical poet and an ambassador of his age. He was the one who introduced sonnet in English literature. The word revocation means the annulment of a marriage or end of a relationship. It is closely, this poem is closely associated with Tudor Court and life in Tudor Court. The Thomas Bjorn uh, sp speaks about uh, double-faced love of his wife Elizabeth Brooke throughout this poem. Bjorn highlights uh, the beauty and cruelty of Tudor court along with complexity or uh, disorder and mystery. Uh, let's get into the poem. What should I say since faith is dead and truth away from you is fled? Should I be led with the doubleness? Nay, nay, prince, mistress. So the opening lines itself places the theme of infidelity and greet uh, your, uh, your faith as evident in the bold statement, faith is dead. So uh, the mistress or the person who is addressed uh, to be the, to the poet uh, has lied as it is indicated, truth away. The question, should I be led with the doubleness, uh, indicates that he, the, the lady uh, or the uh, wife uh, cheats uh, Thomas Weart uh, with her double-faced love. I promised you and you promised me to be as true as I would be. But since I see your double heart, farewell my part. Right from the beginning, we get the clue that this poem is about the events from Thomas Bjorn's life. The vacation that uh, he talks about could be the annulment of his relationship or marriage with Elizabeth Brooke by 1525 on the account of her uh, infidelity. The lines I promised you and you promised me indicates the promise of wedding vows. It is, uh, uh, it is he who uh, bids farewell to her for her double heart. He calls the mistress with the words uh, unkind, uh, unkind, unjust and unkissed uh, as uh, it, uh, clearly indicates uh, the, uh, the infidelity of the mistress. He says that it is not his mind to bid farewell or to forsake his, uh, her love but uh, the unkindness of the lady has face forced him to bid farewell. So the last lines and thus betrayed or that I wish a farewell and kiss. The last line justifies his action uh, to bid farewell to his mistress who promised but betrayed his bids. The major theme in the poem or uh, revocation is infidelity. Thank you.